okay my lip then so i wanted to do a bollywood review so y'all already know i did the last few videos that i did about like uh certain bollywood movies that i watched they've been more so like 1950s 1960s movies but i uh, and you know there's been a few there's been like early 2000 stuff and i i wanted to um talk about three specific films in this in this video that um i personally feel like the movie missed the mark okay storyline wise um and there's three and i'm gonna save the worst for last but i i do want to talk about three and there might be more bollywood films that i'll probably watch and it's like i'm like oh this missed the mark and don't <laughs> and not to say um you know that there aren't like especially right now a lot of the films that are being produced right now in the hindi film industry is like that's there's a whole list of that too so it's like and but the, then again i don't watch a lot of the new stuff i always watch things from back in the day things from the early 2000s mid 2000s 90s 80s 70s 60s blah blah, blah. but i did want to talk about three films that stuck out to me for now um that i'd be watching i was just like uh these were like i see what y'all trying to do but it's, it was not good so the first one i have to say duplicate um as much as i like and don't get me wrong there were a few funny scenes in this film like i i felt like i knew what they were you know what they were doing storyline wise but with this film with duplicate with um Shah Rukh, um Juhi and Sun Sunali um and I thought that the casting was great and everything I, I just felt like storyline wise there was just a few things where it just it didn't stick you know like when it comes to story it does need to stick the landing um when it comes to the climax you know the second part of the story the end and I just for me personally I felt like it didn't stick now however there are like a good two songs that I really, really love off this film. And y'all know me. Sometimes a soundtrack, a, so a song soundtrack can save a film. I do think that, you know, these two songs did save, kind of save, well, one of them mostly, that, you know, was really made the movie worth watching. But overall, the film was just, I, I honestly gave Duplicate like a C. Like it was just, it was like a good, like a solid C. Like it wasn't anything more than that. Um, but I did think I did love the Mary Mehbubu Mary Sanam Da 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 Shukriya Mehrabani Karam. That's my song. I love that song, uh, and and I just love the the whole concept behind the song and everything. I thought it was great. I thought that it was well produced and well. And and, and honestly, those are the songs we're missing today in in Bollywood. Like the soul, the 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 fun, the like just the lyrics the meaning behind the song so um but yes i i do think that duplicates you know in some ways didn't miss the mark but there are certain scenes and certain parts of the film where i felt like it was really good but yeah so duplicate is number one and this is going from like best to worst as far as like when it comes to bollywood films that missed the mark um so second yeah yeah i don't i don't know if people are gonna get mad at me for this one i don't know um, clearly the critics are not going to get mad at me because the critics did not like this film, but maybe the audience loved the film. I don't know. I have to go see what the audience score is, but y'all, I watched Tamasha on Netflix and I was just like, here's the thing. Here's the thing with this movie that I, I, and I truly believe this. I think that Tamasha try to have like the formula of like a i think they wanted to make a job we met sort of vibe in 20 what, when did this movie released in 2016 i think i think that that was so, not not to say that they wanted to do like the same storyline same no i'm just talking about like when it comes to formula i think that they wanted that same sort of formula for this movie and personally for me it did not stick like i and you know it's so crazy it, it is the same thing that i said with duplicate but this film i see what they were trying to do like i, I like i that's the thing with these you know duplicate tamasha and especially tamasha i see what they were trying to do i see what where they wanted to go but 
I, I I just felt like the whole first of all, and then this can also become a little bit confusing for the audience for the audience with the back and forth and you know, my name is this, but my name it really isn't that, but it's back to this name and and you know, it's just there's a lot of factors in this film where it's like I I can definitely tell why the critics didn't like it. Um, I can I can see it. Now, where there are certain scenes where I felt like it, it showed a great performance in a scene. Yes, like I'm that one scene where Rambi uh Rambi uh Kapoor came to uh to pick up uh what apartment or something. She confronted her about you know them creating these these whole different identities and then now they're like you know they went back to who they really are in reality and then he was just like and she she didn't want that she wanted the guy that she fell in love with who was like a different person and like he was just like ah, that, that scene right there and i and i know y'all know what i'm talking about where like you know where he confronts her he's like the truth like he like <laughs> that part but like he he ate that he ate that i love that scene and there was certain there was certain scenes too with the pick up particle where she was really really like I will say this, Rambir and Deepika acted really well in this film. I, I will also say mostly Rambir, I will say really acted really well. I, I just felt like, and maybe this has to do with the director. You know, I, I just don't think that this falls under the, the fault of the actor or the actress, but I do think that this falls under the director and like the person that wrote the story. Um, It's just, well, there were certain scenes that were great. It's just overall, the film was just like... I, I wasn't satisfied by the end of the film. I wasn't satisfied. And and like I said, the, in this movie, like like how I said with Duplicate, in this movie, one of the more one of the most iconic songs came out of this film, um, Agartum Satiho. And honestly, I, is that the only song that we know from this film? Because I feel like we didn't even pay attention to the other songs. I feel like this this song really, really um this song I'm sorry y'all. Um this song really, really did uh a lot of, it, shoot, it was all over like people are singing it's one of my favorite songs i love this song i love the meaning of the song like the, and that's and that's what i'm saying and i know i keep saying this but like and y'all guys can go on my um bollywood slash ztv playlist and y'all guys can see all the videos i did about you know the hindi film industry you know the the soundtracks the music that's coming out of the industry right now the movies of today the movies of yesteryear that sort of thing Agartum Satiho, and mind you, this this movie was in 2016. That song came out in 2016. This is that was an example of how to do music in now in the 2020s. That that song right there is an example, and I'm highly disappointed that that song in the formula, in the lyrics, the lyricism, the the lyrics, the melody, the soul is not re being uh, 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 replicated. In, in 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 the Hindi films of today, and what I don't understand is, I don't understand why that's not the case. Why that isn't the case? Because it's like a girl from went like it went viral. Like that song went viral. It did huge numbers. People loved the song. So, you know, soul having meaning to a song, having soul to a song, having um, melodies and and love and romance that can still sell. But I don't understand why these companies these corporations in the hindi film industry don't want to push it i just i don't understand it's like i have i haven't listened to it like these new songs these like from rocky orani and and then shahrukh and and, and the patman pat hand whatever it's called all of that it's just the songs are not memorable they're not gonna we're not gonna be singing this five ten years from now we're, just, we're not it's just gonna be hot for a good second and that's it. But a good a good doom sato, even though the film was whatever, but the song is gonna live on. It's gonna live on. Now, as far as like the rating, what I give this film its rating, I give Tamasha. I think I'll also give it a C. I'll also give it a C. Like I I I see what they're going with it. Like that's how I feel. I feel about this with with du duplicate. I feel about this with Tamasha. I see what they're all going, but it 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 just. There was a certain part in the story where it just it didn't land, like it just they didn't stick the landing with it, and like the the um the writing and the story like, that has to do with the writer that has to do with the director that sort of thing. So um but yeah like 
there were some iconic songs that came out of this film and in, in, in duplicate as well. Now, I want to go to this last one. And the last one is the worst one. The last one is the worst one. <sighs> okay, I watched this film on YouTube, y'all. Because, y'all know, I, I did a review about um, Jessam and um, Iqbal. You know, I mean, you know, I talked briefly about um, the Basha Basu and John Abraham and like watching the films that they did together because I thought that it was so cute as a couple and everything. So I actually never heard of this film before until, you know, when I watched when I watched Itbad and and Jason and stuff, and I saw that they did a third film. I'm like, God damn, they did a lot of films together. So let me watch it. Yeah, y'all, uh, Mud Ho- how y'all guys say Mud Hoshi? This movie was terrible awful <laughs> like here's the thing i don't understand just some was good i really really like just some just some just some sorry and then etbad even though etbad didn't do well in the box office and you know some critics you know didn't like it personally for me i like i like etbad I, I i like the film i i see the film like as like a you know the, 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 you know those teenage people where it's like they date and then there's the abuse and stuff like that i like the film this right here I ain't understand, like, this, the storyline is just complete, like, from, from the start to the end, the storyline was very stupid, it was so stupid, like, I was just like, and maybe y'all guys want to go watch this movie to see for yourselves, I don't know, maybe y'all might like it, maybe just me, but this movie failed at the box office, and I'm not surprised, the critics hated this film, and I'm not surprised, this was really bad. It was really bad, and I and, and it's, it's so sad because like y'all really could have done something with this, but the storyline started from the beginning with the whole like what was it the, you know they were capitalizing off of like the whole nine eleven thing, things like that you know that when it was profitable to do that, and then you know we went on and then she and then you know she she well at first she likes this other guy and then John Abraham's comic character comes in and then it turns out John Abraham is an illusion and then she's going crazy and then. The guy, you know, uh, does surgery to look like John Abraham so that she can fall in love, so that she can stop being crazy. And then it's like she finds out and then he goes back to, and then he's like, oh, no, I'm going to go back to my old. It's just write the script. I'm surprised that David did this film. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm surprised the actors. David just looked at this film and was like, oh, this is a great project. I'm going to go do it. This movie was really stupid. Um... <sighs> The songs were not memorable. Nothing was memorable in this movie. Like the songs, uh, I was just, I was looking at this one particular song where Abhi Pasha was in the black right here. Sorry. Where she's in this black dress right here. There's a song. I forgot the song name and I honestly don't care. That whole song was just, I was like, okay. Like I, I, I just wanted the song to end. I was just, I was over it. Just like that whole scene was just ridiculous. I just, I felt, I, I don't, this was a cash grab or something, because I don't know. But I give this, Madhushi, I give it an F. This was a really bad film. Maybe you guys can go watch it on YouTube and see what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, I want to, you know. But just FYI on YouTube, like, this movie's there, but, you know, there's no English subtitles or anything. So, y'all guys might have to go look somewhere else to go, you know, to go watch that. But other than that, I give this movie an F. This was really, really bad. Like, this, and I talked about movies missing the mark. This missed the mark but who she missed the mark this was a really bad film storyline wise and and listen maybe the pastor's acting was it was okay it was nice but nothing was memorable the songs were memorable the scenes were memorable I, I just i felt like it was whatever you know but that's just my thoughts on that um please tell me what you guys think in the comment section below do you guys watch any of these three films how do you guys feel about it you guys love it you guys don't um please like comment and subscribe 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 let's get up to 700 subscribers i love y'all so much and i'll talk to you guys later bye